Hi, it's Luang from Google Tech. I don't know you still remember this mini game controller that I make with Raspberry Pi Zero uh, that you can plug in any screen. Today I have a little bit update with this one. I got I tried to make a version that has battery with it. So it's still headless. You don't have the screen, but you will have uh, the battery supply with it. My plan is I'm gonna put the battery, you see, and the charging module like this one. I'm going to add the switch here so that we can put them all together. So uh, let's go make this one. So, so the plan is simple. I will connect this battery to the modern charger and then through a switch because we don't want the battery on all the time. Then it's only gonna be connected to the uh, the game pad that we have here, of course, I need to add some of the uh, uh, jumper, female jumper for this one here, so that it can be connected to the uh, pin here, the pin number 39, the VC that we supply power for the uh, Raspberry Pi. So let's first, let's cut it and do it. Okay, good, this up. So we have it good now. Let's solder it to the uh, game pad right now. Oh, let's like this. That's what we have. Make sure that it stays straight. Now let's deal with the battery here. I need to put this battery wire, be careful now, put them together to this charger module. You have this B plus and minus for battery plus and minus and the outside is for the output. Okay, now so let me do it. This one is battery plus. We, in my design, we have some kind of like charger holder like this one right here okay so of course we need don't want to cover it so we're gonna kind of soldering the wire in this way okay You should need to add wire for there too.
So now we need to connect this wire from the button or the switch to the power supply of the Raspberry Pi. It should be this pin here. All of this link here is the round one that I link, so I just need to connect the black wire to it. It's gonna be easier when I have my board 3 um, uh, PCB printed. Okay, it's ugly, but it's work. Okay, so now let's see what I have here. Is the one of the battery here? It connects to wire of the battery to wire that go to the switch. We need to make sure that there is no uh, short circuit. Let me go with this one. No short circuit here. Okay. Okay. So they are all connected now. Uh, let's try if it works by switching it on. Okay. You see there, the okay. Yes. So it's working. Now let's put them in the case and then we see all together. Now we try to fix the button in here, okay, by the holes and the screw. So here you have the switch, nice and tight here. It's at the up position, like you can see. Now I'm gonna put the battery. First, you need to add the uh, battery holder like this this one you need to tighten with the screw on the back okay so now you have the bottom set up like this okay now we just need to add the raspberry pi and star Side so the wire inside a little bit. Then we have kind of ready. I just need to be sure by switching this on. Okay, you can see the LED. Okay, so now is it on? We just need to put the cover. Then we're good to go. I hope this video entertains you well. I always want to work in a Game Boy because it's just something I have. Um, in my childhood and I love it this time we managed to cut up one more wire is the power supply for the Raspberry Pi uh, by using the battery the only wire left for us now is the uh, HDMI cable to connect to the screen but we can cut it up also if we use an like 
LCD screen. I have a 5 inch LCD screen and I still want to work on it. If you love to see more videos about this topic, please subscribe to my channel and we can see in the next one. Happy gaming!